I don't use the Rift S daily, and I haven't used my Rift S in some time, as there's no VR games that captivate me. The Rift S though, I love how simple this headset was and always has been. Being one of the first ever all-in-one VR headsets provided you have a beast enough PC to run VR. So I decided after almost six months of not really using my Rift to boot it up and give it another try. There are lots of reasons I haven't upgraded from my Rift to a new VR headset, with the latest being the sheer temptation to buy the Vision Pro out of impulse. How do I feel about this headset? It is still the market dominator it once was. Setting it up at the beginning properly is important, but simple. Needing to connect your headset to your computer using a cable for both display and power, this connection does two things. It sends video to your headset for a smooth visual experience and keeps your device running. Unlike wireless headsets games. that allow it's you to freely move, this one is connected to your computer, needs a constant cable connection, leaving out the chance for a solo light quest experience. The ability of the headset to work with any virtual reality platform is a key feature letting users dive into various online worlds. Whether you're using the Oculus app or the Steam VR app, the headset's flexibility provides an engaging gaming experience across different platforms. This means you can buy games from any platform and they will work with your headset. This not only makes the headset more valuable, but gives you access to a large range of VR games to try out. For the actual gaming, the headset uses a new method of tracking. It skips the camera setup and has cameras right on the headset. This inside-out tracking method is innovative, op offering accurate movement detection without needing any extra equipment. Even though the cameras aren't designed for seeing the outside world clearly, they still track movement well. This accuracy ensures that your real-world actions are accurately reflected in the online world, making the gaming experience more immersive. It's worth mentioning that the controllers use a single AA battery each. This might seem outdated because many devices now have rechargeable batteries, but it's slightly convenient. AA batteries mean you can easily replace a dead battery so you can keep playing without peace. However, this choice raises questions about environmental impact and the cost of battery replacements over time. The wide compatibility with major VR platforms, accurate movement tracking, and the simple yet effective choice of battery for the controllers make this headset an attractive choice for those eager to exploit the large range of ever-evolving VR gaming. With every feature thoughtfully designed to balance performance and convenience, this headset offers limitless experience powered by your imagination. The Oculus Rift S represents a fantastic chapter in history of virtual reality, marketing a significant evolution from its predecessors. Developed in collaboration between Oculus, a division of Facebook at the time, and Lenovo, the Rift S was unveiled in March 2019 and released a few months later. This partnership aimed to redefine design and comfort of the headset, leveraging Lenovo's experience in the hardware manufacturing. The Rift S was introduced as an improvement over the original Rift, featuring higher resolution displays, a more flexible fit, a simplified setup process, all without the need for external sensors thanks to the inside-out tracking system, which utilizes five built-in cameras located around the headset. This technology marked a departure from the external sensor-based tracking system of its predecessor, offering users a more straightforward setup and reducing the physical space requirements for VR. This move also aimed to make VR more accessible to a wider range of audience by lowering the barriers to entry. Another significant enhancement was the improvement in visual fidelity. The Rift S boasts a single LCD panel with a resolution of 2560 by 1440, which represents a significant leap over the dual OLED panels used in the original Rift. The change not only offered a sharper image, but also reduced the screen door effect, a common complaint where users could see small gaps between pixels. However, this upgrade came with compromises. The refresh rate was reduced from 90 hertz to 80 hertz while this decrease was a conscious decision it was deemed necessary to maintain a balance between performance and accessibility allowing more users to experience vr without needing high-end pc configurations the design and the comfort of the Rift S also saw improvements thanks to the collaboration with Lenovo. The headset features a halo headband design, which distributes the weight more evenly, reducing pressure points and allowing for longer, more comfortable VR head sessions. This design was a significant shift from the original Rift's Velcro straps, providing users with more user-friendly adjustment mechanism. Additionally, the Rift S introduced a pass-through feature, leveraging the built-in cameras to allow users to see their real-world surroundings without taking off the headset. Potential collisions with objects in the play area, but also made it easier for users to take short breaks or quickly interact with the real world.